Over 500 meetings have taken place between Gibraltar, London, Brussels and Spain since the process began. The government maintains the outcome of the referendum was a bad result for the UK, the and EU and for Gibraltar, adding, however, that it respected it and set out to work in a constructive manner. Reflecting on the risk that Gibraltar may have been excluded from the withdrawal treaty and transition period, it says it successfully navigated those waters, adding this was done with a protocol to the withdrawal agreement, four memorandums of understanding and a tax treaty. Looking back on preparations made for a no-deal Brexit, it says these have been useful and will continue to be if the UK and the EU don't agree on a framework for a future relationship by the end of this year. And reflecting on the close economic relationship EU membership has brought both sides of the border, the government says there is considerable economic interdependence between the Rock and Andalusia. 15,000 cross-border workers, making Gibraltar the second largest employer for the region. £70 million spent on goods and services in Spain by Gibraltarians yearly. £62 million to the Spanish economy from Gibraltarians with second homes there. And goods valuing over £1.5 billion Euros imported to Gibraltar annually. The government says this makes Gibraltar the largest export market for the Cadiz province, ahead of the UK and France. It says data suggests that Gibraltar contributes to 20% of the campus' GDP. Looking ahead to the ROC's future relationship with the EU, the government says that shared prosperity on both sides of the border could, in the right circumstances, be expanded and extended further. It says it's committed to working tirelessly on the future relationship with the EU with ambition, energy and enthusiasm.